Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to King Arthur, the role-playing war game. How you all doing? We're trying to finally defeat the Unseelie and the Seelie. It feels like it's taken uh, forever. Yes, Sir Belvedere, why don't you attack these guys? This will be fun. <laughs> Yay. We have fought here before. In fact, this is the same battlefield where we had a disaster last episode. Stuck in the woods. Help me. Somebody please. Alright, we're going to try something different. We're going to try and have one group of knights come up here and secure that. Um, we're going to try and have the other group of knights try and secure that. We're going to have the main body of the force try and get kind of in the open if we can. I don't know how well this is going to work. I mean, somebody uh, make it daylight. Any of these guys make it daytime? Oh, that might be bad. <laughs> I don't think anybody can. That's bad news. I thought one of Bedivere's guys could. It must have been thinking of Sir Mark's army. <clears throat> Come on, knights. Go up and get that territory. Sir um, Bedivere, can you use poison? Are any of these guys in range? Oh, I think so. Let's uh, poison some of these winter breed back here. So Lancelot, <clears throat> why don't you flame strike some of those guys back there? You can already see them dropping. Sir Peleus, let's use a death cloud. Oh, I think those guys are protected. Let's use a death cloud over here. Oh, I should use a death cloud on those guys over there. Whatever. Sir Bedivere, why don't you take a big risk? Use your she road thing and just appear right here and attack these fuckers. I don't know how well that's gonna work, but whatever. Have the rest of these guys come up. See, are knights securing the stuff that I want them to secure? Yeah, hurry up and get that, knights. <clears throat> oh, that might be bad up there. So, Lancelot, Dragon Strike those bitches before they get to our guy, Sir Bedivere. Sir Bedivere? Um, you just wait. Do they have it? Where's their leader? No. Sir Peleus, use Dragon Strike 2 against. I don't know who. It's those guys? You go, Sir Bedivere. You kick ass. That's what I'm talking about. Infantry, feel free to engage whoever you want. Uh, archers, feel free to keep your range so you don't get murdered. That might be a little late for that, I don't know. I wasn't paying particularly good attention. We use Dragon Strike, oops, on these guys. We should have one of these locations. Alright, Knights from here. Can you secure the Crystal Tower? I don't know if you'll be able to get there fast enough, but... Sir Bedivere's in danger? Oh, fuck! Did I get him out in time? No, shit. I could have healed him too, but I was trying to move my Knights. Fuck. No, and damn it! Where are those knights? You guys. Fuck it, don't go over there. Just join the fighting here. Sir Peleus, why don't you use Dragon's Breath or um, Death Cloud? She's Dragon's Breath on. Damn it. Use Dragon's Breath on these guys. There we go, sir. <coughs> oh shit. Man, their archers are just fucking us up. Our archers have been useless. Absolutely useless. Sir Lancelot, where are you? Sir Lancelot, is that you down here? Use your flame butt strike. Yeah, kill those winter braid. Camelot kid, where'd you go? Okay, you you're chasing those people off. Good deal. I like that. Ooh, we captured some of their leaders. Come on, Calvary, hurry the fuck up. You guys are going slow. Oh, good job, archers. Our archers are chasing those guys. Camelot Kid. Why don't you use... What's Bonds of Magic? Oh, that's no good. Use uh, Cleave. 
Actually, Calvary, can we get you up here? Chase off their archers. <clears throat> Lancelot's about to bite it. Why don't you use Dragon's Breath on these guys? Boy, that's a whole lot of fail. Man, I hate fighting these stupid Sealy archers. Yeah, you chase them, sir. Um, I, can't, I can't believe the Camelot Kid is the group that's still around. That, I did not anticipate. Knights, get up there and get those Sealy archers. Wait, oh, that's the knights over here? They're not moving anywhere. Oh, I guess they are. They're just really slow and stupid. Why don't you attack these guys? These guys are closer. Yeah, you knights. You run up there and attack them. Our archers seem to be doing something against them. I like that we're chasing these guys. You do it, Camelot kid. You chase the fuck out of them. Oh, I think he caught them too. Yeah, you fuck them up real good, kid. Teach these on Sealy to... Well, you're just gonna teach them to die. Yeah, chop them up real good. Excellent job, sir. Yeah, get these assholes. Where'd my cavalry go? They're just poisoned? Why aren't you guys coming up the hill? Oh, the guys don't want you to kill were killed by our archers. Good job, archers. Come on up, Calvary. In fact, we'll send you way over there if need be. Just if you find an enemy, engage them. Oh, good job, Camelot Kid. I never... The Camelot Kid, I got too excited there. Sorry if that peaked the mic. The Camelot Kid, for the longest time, all he did was move troops. He's like, it's my time to shine! <laughs> I've been waiting all this time. And he's like the last one. He's the hero, along with the archers and the knights. I like these guys trying to catch up. Fuck you. Hey, Calvary, how about you guys catch up and attack these assholes? Put a javelin up their buttholes. That'll make it gape. That's a hot thought. Yo. You guys don't go too fast. I'll fuck it. Why don't you guys come in and help fight too? Probably just exhausted. They're like, we're tired of running everywhere. I like seeing all these dead Sealy people. Finally. Come on, Camelot kid. Catch up with these dumbass archers. Where are these guys? Oh, there are guys. Who are these guys? More bowmen? <clears throat> they didn't do anything. They didn't even shoot at the guys coming at them. Quit poisoning us. Whoever's poisoning us, you're an asshole. That's what you are, sir. <laughs> this is the dramatic finish of the battle. Running around chasing idiots in the woods. You guys are doing a great job, everybody. Calvary can't outrun anybody. I, I guess I can understand that they slow down in the woods, maybe. Anybody going to? No? Knights. Yeah, Knights, why don't you? You guys are going to separate. Just in case, you run over there. Take that victory location. The rest of our idiot chase people. No, I want the other knights. Other knights, come up here. Or, um, archers, not knights. Oh, somebody caught them. I think that was Sir Percival. Or, I'm not Sir Percival. The cap. Yeah, good job, Camelot Kid. He captured somebody. Go good job, dude. Man, I hate the losses we have to take fighting these armies. I hate this battlefield. Well done, kid. You did better than Sir Mark's army did, and now the Unseelie should all be gone. Now we just have to worry about the Seelie. Uh, let's see, we lost some griffins and some bowmen. Oh, we did better than I thought. A lot of injured people, though. <laughs> 
We got a swift blade, and we got the shield of Arimathea. How many shields of, did Joseph of Arimathea have? Come on. That's the second one we got. It's a little suspicious. Bunch of wounded heroes. All yes, right. Start with Sir K. All of our guys really need to get back and refit their armies or rebuild them. On my way. Fortunately. Okay, yes, you come back. Lord. On my way. Ready to serve. On my way. King Mark needs a whole new army. <laughs> this is going to be the tougher part. But we took the Crystal Palace or place. We still have to fight these st three stupid Seely armies, but that's going to take a while. Fortunately, we're going to have to winter in the better grade. I didn't mean to do all those things, but whatever. Uh, East Mercia, the place of freedom. I wonder if we're have to get, going to have to fight them eventually. I don't mind being friends with them. They didn't do anything to us. We didn't do anything to them. They like to just march around a lot, I guess. I wonder how many... I hope most of those armies are just generals, if God forbid we do have to fight them at some point. Hopefully those aren't all full <laughs> armies. Okay, somebody died in prison. Good. Let's see, people got promoted. Sir Mark did. Why don't you give you another leadership point, sir? I guess give him a rank and swift attack. I really don't know what to give him at this point. He never had the spells I liked the most. All right, we'll upgrade these guys with some defense. Some defense, we give the Griffins a special thing. We give them armor piercing so they do more damage. King's Guard will give you some melee. Luckily, Sir Kay's army mostly survived. We'll give him Master Work weaponry, though. The weapons would be more dangerous. Melee. Yeah. Unfortunately, we'll do the same thing with Master and Work. Master Work weaponry. I can't even pronounce it. Uh, we'll give you some more for stamina there, Summerborn. Unlike the other armies, which pretty much got fucked. Sir Wayne, let's give you some fighting skills. We'll give him another uh, level of ward. They'll give him more spell resistance. Sir Gareth, let's give you. Let's give you some more rain skills. Why the fuck not to that? We'll give you another level in ward too, I reckon. Let's. Uh, Sir Dumbass. How do I get you? Uh, let's give you some fighting skills. He's like, my name's not Dumbass. <laughs> Shut up, Dumbass! We're going to give him another point to uh, spell weaving. When people die near him, he gets extra mana points. I really like that. He's injured for a couple turns. Sir K, let's give you another point to... Um, I don't think it really matters. I guess we'll give you a point to magic. That's kind of cool. I'll give him another point to liege, where the people in his area are more loyal and he gets more gold and food income. It'll hopefully be beneficial. These guys need to be approved. See the archers, you can have more archery skills. Why did I not max that out earlier? Sometimes I'm stupid, most of the time. We're gonna give him Creature of Light. He does more damage in um, clear weather. See the warriors, let's give you some more melee skills. Sir Lancelot, unfortunately I can't improve you. Sir Peleus, I can improve you. We'll give you some more fighting skills. And we'll give you another skill in spell weaving when people die near you. Blah, blah, blah. We get more magic. Let's see all the prisoners we got. Bunch of prisoners. Some of them are level 30. Holy fuck. Bunch of ladies in the court. All my ladies. Drop your pantaloons. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the chancellery and buy some more food. Alright, we'll buy a shitload of food. Essex is being a dick. And Wessex is kind of... And Kent... What the fuck is wrong with you, Kent? Kent's always being a dick. Let's find out the bad news. Okay, rebel lords. A secret group of nobles in your province were hatching a plot against you in the shadows. When the sheriff captured one of them, they recruited an army and rebelled openly. Now the traitors are trying to win the whole province over to their cause. Okay, Lady Penis. The son of a noble family. Penis, why don't you for help? His sister was kidnapped by Sir. Yeah, that'll happen. Uh, rebellion? Is that in... 
Damn it, in Wessex. And one in Essex. What a pain in the ass. Where are you, Sir Tristan? All right, we got to get some armies back. Who's that? Sir Mark. It takes forever On for them to way. get out of the bed of grain. Everybody walks so slow in there. Yes, my lord. It takes them, like, years to way. get out of there. Come on, Bedivere. Ready to serve. Sir Kay, come on. On my way. Oh, these guys are never going to be out in time. All right, Sir Tristan. Ready to serve. That means you've got to take care of these issues. Let's see. There's a rebellion here and there. Can you get to this one? On my way. Hello, Rebels. You want a girl? Wow, that was really good. No, I don't want these idiots to join me. How about I don't give you a girl? How about I give you some gold? There, I addressed your issues and tell you to fuck the fuck off. Thank you. <laughs> On my way. He's like, there, there, there. There'll be less in taxes. We'll deal with all your grievances. Can you please leave me the fuck alone? Oh, I think it's made us more Christian or rightful or something. Ooh, Tristan got a new artifact. He's got a brass leaf pendant. Don't care about that. Sir Pelias got a phoenix helmet. Those are actually kind of nice. We're going to give it to Sir Bedivere, though, in case he wants to eventually sell it. Okay, Sir Kay. You serve? Can you get that far? Can you get to this guy? On my way. Deal with the rebel lords. Attack! Do we have to fight them? I really would rather not. I don't think we have any choice. This army is a little depleted, but we've got to put down these rebels. We can't have rebellions going on in our kingdom. Oh, is this a place with only two victory locations? I believe it is. All right, but fuckios. Let's get ready to form up. Our army is a little depleted from fighting the... Um, Seely and the unseely. These rebels better hope they know what they're fucking doing, because our men are more than a little pissed off. We've been fighting supernatural creatures for, like, years in a war that we didn't want, and now we come back to these ungrateful people who we were trying to save? If we get a chance, we're going to massacre every last one of these rebels. They will never, ever rebel against us. We will teach them a lesson they will never forget. Or they'll beat us and then we'll cry. But we're hoping for the former, not the latter. Alright, Sir Damas. Cloud of Shadows. Sir Gareth. Sir Gareth. Cloud of Shadows. Sir Wayne. Cloud of Shadows. Okay, um, Sir K, make sure it's sunny. I don't want any of this bullshit. Sir K, fire these guys. There we go. Sir Wayne. Lightning bolt those guys. There, how about that? Uh, someone attack somebody. Archers, pull back. Archers, pull back. Archers, pull back. Yeah, knights, charge. Engage these people. Sir Gareth, do a death cloud on those guys. Sir Wayne, oh, you can't. Sir Damas, poison these guys. Oops, no, I'm not poison. Sir K, use masterful strategies. Help all of our guys with a buff. Sir Damas, why don't you death cloud these assholes? These pikemen. Sir Gareth will um, firebomb them. Yeah. Sir Wayne, why don't you death cloud some more of them? I don't know where you assholes are going, but come over here and fight. Yeah, good job, archers. Fuck these guys up back here. Let's lightning bolt these assholes. Bam! We came back from fighting these creatures from another plane. You think you idiots are going to stop us? They flame those dudes. Sir Gareth, why don't you death cloud those little guys? It's not really necessary, but whatever. I don't know where these guys are going, but back here. 
Uh, Sir Damas. Oh, you don't have any more I want to use that. Sir Gareth, why don't we Dragon's Breath these guys? Oh, did they kill them all already? Yeah, everybody else, just feel free to um, attack somebody. How do you like this, Rebels? How do you like this? How do you like me now? We came back from fighting these magical creatures from another world to defend you all from them. They're going to kidnap your children. We come back and the nobles are like, I'm going to be king. You can be king of being dead. That's how I feel about that. Yeah, we lost three people. Suck on that, Rebels. Ooh, I don't think I've ever seen either of these. The Phoenix Best bre best uh, Breastplate. I'm trying to read too fast. Plus three hit points per second. The Unblinking Eye, plus two to Adventuring. Good job, Sir K. Let's see. What's this? Lady Abigail? On my way. He just came back from the Better Green Forest, and he's like, I'm not putting up with this bullshit. You accept an invitation of a Welsh lord to his manor. Sir Kay's going to do that. He's like, sure, why not? You arrive at the manor of Duke Kenilred. It's a small castle with a few outbuildings. The Duke welcomes you with heartfelt words, then introduces you to his daughter, Abigail. He asks you to escort her to the court of King Arthur. Will she become a lady in waiting? Uh, okay. All right, tell me about your daughter. Abigail is a beautiful and proud and Welsh lady. The peasants and common folk love her because she is widely known for her good heart and the way she cares for the old and the sick. Yeah, I'm not going to ask the father to give me anything. Yeah, very well. She can come to the court. I don't care. I'll probably trade her away anyway. <laughs> you escort the young Abigail with all her belongings and servants to the court of the king. All right, she's available to marry off. I think all our knights that can be married are married, though. Yeah, so... She can sit on my lap for a while when the wife's not here. I lie. I love Queen Elaine. Okay, um. Yes, my king. Benavir, can we get your ass on back way. here? Okay, let's, uh. Have you fill your ranks? That'll take three seasons. We do have to eventually get some more troops for him. Yes, my liege. Sir Mark, we gotta get you near a city. Who the hell's this? Oh, okay, cool. Um, where'd you go, Sir Mark? Yes, my king. On my way. It's gonna take you some turns. I don't know if you're gonna get there before winter. But he's got a guy there. And then Sir Tristan. Where'd you go? Sir Tristan? Can you go and put down the other sir. rebellion? On my way. Then eventually I want you to give some of your troops to Sir Mark, because he's got actually a decent army. Um, hey, rebels, they're unhappy about things. You want this stupid brass leaf pendant I found? <laughs> Apparently they're okay with that. Um, here, we'll give you enough stuff like that. I entered into negotiations, I convinced them to leave peacefully, I'll deal with your fucking grievances. Now go fuck off. Excellent. Good job, Sir Tristan. He does a pretty good job for somebody who just used to sit around in Camelot a lot. On my way. Yeah, we're hungry soldiers, unfortunately. Again, we do need more food. Sir Tristan, you come over here. On my way. Sounds kind of gross. You come here. I might have you go up to Sir Bedivere's army and give them some troops too. I hadn't thought about yes, that. My liege. That won't happen this turn. Sir Mark, can you get On way over way. there? Man, we've got to rebuild these armies so we can go up into the better grain and finish what we've started. You guys are on the city. We can't do anything about that right now. Sir Kay, yes, my lord. why don't you come down here and deal with this? On my way. Help this lady out. The son of a noble family, Penis, comes for you, to you for help. His sister was kidnapped by Sir 
Agrimar, the Wandering Knight, this Twisted Knight declared that he would be willing to fight a duel before the year is out. And if he is defeated, the damsel goes free. Alright, who's the best fighter? Oh man, it sucks that Percival's not here. I guess Sir Wayne is. I don't know if Wayne's the one to send. <laughs> He's like old faith and dark and evil. Alright, Sir Wayne, good luck. Sir Penis also tried to fight... Agrimor, but he was struck down by a vicious blow. You visit Sir Penis at his sickbed. He asks you to defeat the evil Agrimor. In return, he will give you the ancient weapon of his family, and he will also send his sister to Arthur's court. That's nice of him to give his sister away. Um, Let's march our army to... Uh, Sir Wayne's just going to go to Sir Agrimor and try to negotiate with him. All I know is that after fighting... In the fucking wilderness all this time, our guys just have run out of patience. It's like, the things I've seen. <laughs> now, far from Agramor's Agri castle, you meet the envoys of the evil knight. They obviously don't trust you, and the only thing they tell you is that their lord will only give the damsel to a knight who defeats them in a duel. Uh, I'll pay a ransom. The envoys of Agramor are quite prepared for this possibility. They ask for a fortune of 7,000 pieces. Um, ah, oh, fuck it. Sir Wayne will fight the duel. He's like, I don't want to waste seven grand. Sagramore is waiting for you at the gates of his castle. He's a huge man in heavy black armor and is holding a terrible sword with a black blade. It's going to be a tough duel. Uh, we're not going to cheat in ambush. Sir Wayne's like, you know what? I have fought way worse things than some weirdo in black armor. I'll fight you. <laughs> Sagramore is a great warrior and he knows how to wield a weapon, but he soon has to realize that he has no chance to get you against you. Sir Wayne spares his life, and the girl can leave the castle. All right, I'm going to take the girl back to the court. You escort the damsel back to her family. Her grateful brother keeps his word. Sweet. We can get the Morn Blade, whatever the fuck that is. You have that, Sir Wayne? Plus two to fight. Uh, what's your current weapon? Uh, you already got something that's better than that. Um, Summer Bane. Maybe you will give that to Sir Dumbass. Let's see, plus two to fight. People attack faster. Oh, that does give some mana bonuses, but fuck. I'll give him that one. That's cool. What do you got, Sir K? You've got the Axe of Furbolg, which you've had forever, which is actually decent. So why don't we have you stand in the city here. And then next time, it'll be winter, and we'll try and rebuild our armies and stuff so we can eventually... Go back into the bed of grain for one last... What the? Where did these guys all come from? Are you kidding me? I thought they couldn't get any more reinforcements. That's what they said. Were they people that escaped from my prison? Maybe? Great. I'll see y'all next time.